Thanks, guys. What a day here in Washington as we come to you with the nation's capital and the background, a place where John McCain's services began just yesterday. Today, we switch sites to the National Cathedral and honor very befitting a man of McCain's stature and caliber for this country. I want to bring in Bram Resnick, who was at the National Cathedral today. Uh, quite the service, and I say quite in many different ways. Uh, it was something Washington has not seen in a very long time. And, you know, we've been saying all week that the McCain family and John McCain in particular designed this funeral to send a message to America uh, and to our political class. And daughter Megan McCain delivered that message today in her father's classic straight talk while also sharing her immense grief about his death. One minute, Megan McCain was tearfully expressing her anguish over the loss of her father. My father is gone and my sorrow is immense. And in the very next breath, she was delivering her own brand of ferocious straight talk to a man her father didn't want in the room. The America of John McCain has no need to be made great again because America was always great. Senator John McCain's funeral at the Washington National Cathedral was a testament to McCain's abiding belief in bipartisanship and lasting disdain for President Donald Trump. It must have been awkward for two of the 3,000 guests, President Trump's daughter Ivanka Trump and son-in-law Jared Kushner, invited by a McCain friend. Among the Washington who's who at the funeral, President Bill Clinton and 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, as well as Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush, who both blocked McCain's path to the White House. After all, what better way to get a last laugh than to make George and I say nice things about him to a national audience? <laughs> President Obama used his relationship with McCain to make a larger point about patriotism in a Trump world defined by polarization. We never doubted the other man's sincerity or the other man's patriotism or that when all was said and done, we were on the same team. President Bush also speaking to the times we live in. If we're ever tempted to forget who we are, to grow weary of our cause, John's voice will always come as a whisper over our shoulder. We are better than this. America is better than this. Toward the end of the ceremony, a respite from politics. Opera star Renee Fleming singing a John McCain request, Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are cold. The senator's widow, Cindy McCain, who didn't speak on this somber day, was moved in a way words can't express. And whether people liked McCain's politics or not, I think most would agree that he, at the core, was a decent man. Uh, and I think, you know, what they heard today was a message a call for decency, bipartisanship, uh, serving a cause greater than yourself. It's really up to the individual. This is not something government can do. It's up to each individual. 